Hi guys, it's Rumi the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 229 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you're, you already attempted it. Let's just dive right in. The number of severe storms that strike City J in a following year is a binomial distribution with n equals 5 and p equals 0. 0.6. Given that m storm strikes City J, the number of severe storms that strike City K is m with a probability of 1 half, m plus 1 with a probability of 1 third, and m plus 2 with a probability of 1 six. And they're saying calculate the expected number of se severe storm that strikes city J given K equals 5. This is in city K where M is the number of storms that happen in city J. Okay, so if we want this to be 5, that, then M can be 5, meaning there is 5 storms that happen in city J. Or M could be also 4, meaning there could be 4 storms that hit city J. Or there could also be 3, right? Because we want these to add up to 5. And as always, the conditional probability formula could be broken down into probability, could be broken down into expectation of J and K equals 5, divided by the um, probability that expe expectation that K equals 5. But the thing is, this one right here is talking about the probability of K given J, right? Equals M. So we also need the formula, the probability of k given j is equal to probability of k a and j over probability of j. So then this is going to be equal to probability, the intersection of k and j equals the probability of k given j times probability of j. So I'm going to plug this in for this one right here. So basically, expectation just means um, j, right? The value of j, k given j, divided by the denominator stays the same, k equals 5. If you want to break this down even further, we can say this is equal to 5 times the probability that k is equal to 5, given j is equal to 5 times the probability of j over probability that k equals 5 plus 4 probability that k is equal to 5 still given j is equal to 4 times the probability of 4 j equals 4 over the probability that k equals 5 and lastly this one, this one will be 3 probability of k is equal to 5 given j is equal to 3 times the probability that j is equal to 3 over the probability oh over the probability that k is equal to 5 so then i think the easiest thing to first start off with is what is probability that k is equal to 5 well this you can use the law of total probability which says we can separate it for example k is equal to 5 given j is equal to 5 times the probability that j is equal to 5 plus the probability that k is equal to 5 given j is equal to uh, 4 times probability of j is equal to 4. And lastly, this will be give you the probability that k is equal to 5 by the law, law of total probability. Probability of j is equal to 3. Alright, so then this first part is kind of easy, right? K, give, k is equal to 5 given j is equal to 5. Well, that's the probability right here, right? So k is equal to 5 given the j is equal to 5 is prop half times the probability j is equal to 5. Well, j is a normal distribution, so we can just use Bernoulli's, giving n is equal to 5. So this is 5 choose 5 with a probability of 0.6. So it will be 0.6 to the 5 times 0.4 to the 0 plus the k what is the probability of k is equal to 5 given j is equal to 4? Well, that's one third. One third. Again, we can use a Bernoulli's triangle, a Bernoulli's formula here. 0. 0.6 to the 4, 0. 0.4 to the 1. And lastly, 1, 6, 5 choose 3, 0. 0.6 to the 3, 0. 0.4 to the 2. So that's your denominator. But actually, you can notice like these are just the numerators. 
but we just have to multiply by 5, 4, and 3. So then this probability of k is equal to 5 is equal to 0.18288. Alright, so now I'm just going to plug everything. We know everything in here, right? So we're just going to plug that into our calculator. 5 times the probability of 1 half times 0 0.07776 divided by the one we get, the k we got, plus 4 times 1 third times 0.2592 over the k we got, plus 3 times 1 six times 0.3456 over the 0.1828 and this is going to give you 3.89764 which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share. Bye!